I think it is time for us to talk about how to make a data table. Now we're not talking about a dinner table where you sit and have food. No, no. We're talking about a chart in which all of your data can be nicely recorded and also seen by whoever wants to look at your data for everybody to know what it was that you did during your lab. First thing we need to think about, what are you going to be doing in your lab? What's your independent variable? And how many different types of tests are you going to do with that particular variable? How many trials are you going to conduct at each of those different independent variables? And are you going to be doing an average of your data, which I would strongly recommend pretty much all the time. So let's say that we're going to set up our lab today and we're going to do three different weights. We need to do three trials at each weight. And we're going to average our data because it makes graphing so much easier. Uh, it makes everything. So we're going to need a three by three table. And then we're going to need an extra column so that we can graph. Now, we take our number of weights. We're going to do three weights, one, two, three. We're going to do three trials at each weight. And then we're going to average each weight, those trials. So I'm going to make a chart, close that bad boy in. I guess I made like an extra line at the bottom. So sorry about that. Uh, I got a little, a little carried away there. So now I have three weights, three trials, and an average. My first trial with one weight, I send it down the ramp and we get 14.3 seconds. Second trial, 15.2 seconds. Third trial, 14.7 seconds. So now I've done three trials with one weight and you can see the times are all different. So we have to do things multiple times. To get an average, we do 14.3 plus 15.2 plus 14.7. And notice I get 44.2, that's not the average. I need to divide by the number of things I added together, which is three things. And that gives me an average of 14.7 seconds. I will do that for two weights and for three weights. And now I will have three averages. The number of weights thing over here, because that's my independent variable, that's going to go on my x-axis. And the number of trials is going to go on my y-axis. So now that I have my cool chart, it's going to be real easy to graph this data. Down here on my x-axis, I'm not going to label it x-axis going to label it number of weights, one, two, three. Then the time is going to go over there on the Y. And I'm going to draw one bar for each time, for each average, and only graph the averages because graphing everybody else gets real mucky. My averages tell me this is kind of uh, the best data of what happened in my lab. Then the conclusion needs to compare your averages and that evidence part. The claim is what happened, the evidence is the comparing of averages, and the reasoning is why do you think that happened. 